I know people always say drink water, drink water, drink water. I drink water. I am assistant camel. Drinking water is not a part of my skin becoming more hydrated. No, but I still drink water because I am assistant camel. Okay? Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Martina. In this video, I'm going to be giving you my skincare routine. But my skincare routine will not be complete if I don't tell you how I got rid of those rough bumps on my face that feel like rashes. I struggled with those like most of last year, the end of last year, I struggled with those. But I conquered, I won that battle and I know how to get those in control any time of the day. And that is what I want to share with you in today's video. If you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, click the subscribe button down below, join the family, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Let's begin. Those rough bumps are called fungal acne or malassezia. I did some research and I learned the name malassezia. It's caused by fungus, unlike pimples and acne, which are caused by bacteria clogging up the pores on your face. This is caused by fungus. I know right so the first thing I used to get rid of it was this my foam backed a cream I'm a Nigerian and I bought this from Nigeria the last time I went back and this has been so good to my skin I've been using this since I was in high school I didn't really know what exactly it did to my skin I just knew that if I had an event or somewhere to go to and my skin was bad, I can start using this three days before and it gets better. But I didn't really understand what it was doing to my skin. So this from Bact A is an anti-fungal, antibacterial, and anti-inflammatory cream. I remember I told you this um, malassezia ooh, is caused by fungus. So if you don't have access to from Bact A, you can go to a pharmacy and ask for an anti-fungal cream. I used it at one point last year and my skin cleared up and I was like, okay, let me continue using this every single day. You guys, I just remembered I had an online class today and I totally forgot. And I was like, okay, why don't I use this every single day? And then my skin started reacting to it. I had some pimple-like things coming out of my face. I'm going to show you. I have videos of it. I take record of almost everything that happens to my face. And then I figured out, okay, that was wrong. I should stop using this product, this cream, and I stopped. Up until the beginning of this year, I decided to take my skincare more seriously. And I realized in order for me to have a skincare routine, I need to get rid of those bumps first. Because no matter the products I use, nothing is actually getting rid of those bumps. And I don't ever see the difference on my face if these bumps are not out yet. So even if my spots are getting lighter, I don't really care because I still have rough bumps on my face. Now you guys can check some of my old vlogs. Ah, my skin was so on oh, my face. Ah, Jesus Christ. Okay. Moving on, I figured out I can use this, but I use this for only like five days at a row. So when I wanted to start cleansing my face and improving my skincare routine, the first thing I did was use this on my face for five days. And on like the third day, my skin was cleared, like all the rough, the rough textured, sandpaper looking face me was all cleared. And this was the secret ingredient. So after using this, the next thing I did was I tried the turmeric and lemon mix on my face for about four days. But this was how I did it. So on one day, I use the turmeric and lemon and leave it on my face. It dries. I wash it off. And then the next day, I use coconut oil and sugar scrub. So I use that to scrub my face because I have really dry skin. So my face is very dry. So I use that and I notice, oh, my skin, my face was looking so good. was looking, you know, healthier and moisturized. With just oil, but smooth and feeling not dry. So the coconut scrub really works for my face. For the turmeric and lemon, I don't really know how it worked, but you know, it was doing something to my face also. So that was good. I used those for like four days each. I didn't use it on the same day because ah, I tried one day and my skin was burning, but that was a mistake. Don't do them on the same day. So I did that for like eight days together and then there was improvement on my face. 
I told you guys I have dry skin. I decided it was time to invest in a moisturizer because that is supposed to be very important for my skin. I had no moisturizer to use on my face. I always tried using oils because natural oils. But these oils also made my skin dry so I didn't know what to do. So I went to Watson's. If you don't know, I live in China and it's very difficult to get international products or products for black girls here in China. So I went to Watson's and I was like, you know, it's just a moisturizer. A white person, a black person should be able to use the same moisturizer, right? So I went to Watson's, I met one of the people there and I told her, I have really dry skin, I need a moisturizer for my face. And so she recommended this to me. This is the Dr. Lee HA Moisturizing and Brightening Cream. And with that, she also gave me the HA Moisturizing and Brightening Essence Toner. And then she advised me to use the toner first and then use the moisturizing cream on top of it and let it sit very well on my face. So I have been using this also since the beginning of this year and it has really helped my skin. I don't really see the difference but I know that it was not the reason behind the rough bumps going off my face because I used this for a while before I actually... I actually used the foam back A and this did not get the rough bumps off my face. It was just helping to maintain my face without giving any additional problems to my face. You know, everything was going so well. I feel like, you know, my skin was stable, was looking good and bright and clear, no rough bumps. Everything was so good. I post my selfies on Instagram. People are like, oh, send me your skincare routine. And I was like, yes, that's what we're talking about. You're finally getting there because I'm not someone that uses makeup I don't know how to use makeup so I don't know how to put on makeup so it's very difficult for me to say okay I'm going to put on makeup every single day I just wake up and I go to the hospital the way I look without any makeup my phone I just wake up and go to the hospital without putting any makeup on my face so I really want to be able to look good and have very good skin without having to put any makeup to hide anything because I'm not really a makeup person but except my eyebrows because I have very sparse eyebrows and I need eyebrows okay good so after seeing how good my skin was I still noticed my skin was very dry and I needed something else to add to make my skin better and a little more hydrated so I have had this aloe vera gel for a while now over a year this is 98% soothing gel so I decided to start using it on my face just to see you know what it can do because I've had it for a while but I didn't really know what to do with it. I created a routine for myself using this. So after cleaning my face when I shower, I use this, I rub it on my face as a mask and I let it dry. So my face absorbs the moisture from this aloe vera gel. And after that I wash it off and then I go in using the essence toner I was given and then the moisturizer. And then I started to notice my face was looking more hydrated and feeling smooth that's what i noticed right from the first day of adding this to my skincare routine my face was very smooth when i touch it and that was really really good so these are the things i've been using on my face for now that's really helped my skin although i still have so many things to work on i still need to get better products and look for other things that can help moisturize my face and get rid of some of the black spots i still have on my face now, apart from these things I've been using, there are some other tips that have really helped me maintain my face. One, I rarely touch my face as often as, often as I used to. Wherever the fungus is coming from, I just want to stop it. So I do not touch my face because my hands can be very dirty. So, no touching of my face. Okay, I touch my face, but I reduce the level at which I touch my face and then also I started changing my sheets and my pillowcase more often and I was becoming more conscious of what I let to touch my face so that really helped me and another thing was makeup using poor quality or fake makeup really damages my face it, that's another problem I have using makeup here in China it's very hard for me to get good quality makeup because makeup stores don't really have makeup for black skin so the companies that produce makeup for black people there are so many of them here in China and a lot of them are fake so I've tried using so many of them and they usually just give my face problems so I've stopped using I stopped really using makeup here in China so avoid makeup that is not of very good quality and these things will really help your skin I know people always say drink water, drink water, drink water. I drink water. I am assistant camel. But I don't really know 
how that has helped my skin so of course drink water because you need water and it's one way or the other to hydrate your skin i don't know but for me drinking water is not a part of my skin becoming more hydrated no but i still drink water because i am assistant camel okay that's all for this video guys if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my youtube channel thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video Bye bye